we're getting fancy here, gents. I just finished setting up my targets. Now I need to set up my rifle. But what, oh what, do we have planned for today? We have Norma Brass that's been nectarned, uh, Federal Match Primers, Lapua, or Lapua, 150 grain Cinar L OTM bullets. They're propelled by Accurate 4064. And we're going from the minimum charge all the way up to 41 grains, which is, I think, I think, is one grain above max. However, we're not using a model 1893 Mauser. We're using a semi-custom modern rifle. So I have high expectations here. So far with 4064, with just about any bullet I've tried, it is really hard to get over an inch. So I have really, really high expectations. Lowest at 37, 37 and a half, 38, 38 and a half, 39, 39 and a half, 40, 40 and a half, 41. Those were my warm up shots. And here's where I have my slice of humble pie because although all these groups in terms of accuracy are within about a half inch of one another in terms of their absolute accuracy. I'm not impressed with how any of them look. There are shifts in the point of impact. I don't see any reliable patterns with the, the way the groups are laid out. Um, so what I did, the first two groups, which are actually the second group from the left on the top row, as well as the thir uh, the third group from the left, um, there's the least amount of change in the point of impact with those two. I went ahead and went with 41 grains and next what I'm going to do is a seating depth test because what I see here is some sort of consistency issue or problem and I think it's related to the seating depth. I think I loaded to basically a bad node of some sort. Let's go ahead and skip to that part. I'm prepared to eat a slice of humble pie. That's what we have here. I'm doing my seating depth test. Yesterday, I did uh, Lapua 150 grain bullets with my neck turned to normal brass and federal match primers. And I'm using accurate 4064. Best group I got yesterday was uh, 0.84 inches. And um, the point impact did not look pretty. So right now, I'm going to do some testing. First I'm going to retest some of the original load, bump it up a little bit, see if that helps. Then I'm going to start working down in 5,000 increments. Let's see if that helps at all because none of the groups looked pretty yesterday. Sorry for the wind. Okay, I have the same seating depth. This is 41 grains. This is 41.2. And then we go back to 41 grains. And this is when I have to start doing a voiceover because the guy in the range next to me started doing mag dumps. So it was really hard to see, hear the audio. Anyway, uh, what I want to say here is each one of these increments is just a change of five thousandths in the bullet seating depth. When we switch over to our analysis here that I did with Range Buddy, I only highlighted the last three groups because this really displays the importance of seating depth. Look at this. We go from a half inch group to a group that is two inches, and that's a difference of five thousandths of an inch. If there's ever any doubt anyone has that seating depth matters, let this be proof otherwise. It seems absurd or it seems ridiculous to end a video by saying, well, sadly, we were only able to get a half inch group. A half inch group is nothing to be ashamed about. I'm, I am happy that I was able to get that. I feel vindicated in a way. But on the flip side, uh, I was expecting more from these bullets. Now, in their defense, with going out to the range with these two trips, like I could tell that my rifle wasn't happy, I'll go ahead and say, with the tuning of these two loads. And really with the second trip, really what I've discovered is, okay, these bullets are very finicky when it comes to seating depth. Now that I know the range, 
in which they will perform well, I need to go back to messing with my charge weights. And I'm going to start with that 41.2 range. It was, uh, I like the way it printed on paper better, even though it was diagonal stringing. But I feel like all we have to do is just increase the charge weight by just a little bit to tighten it up. And I think we're going to see that result on paper. Although, that's purely theoretical. It means nothing until we actually get back out to the range and test that. So I hope to see you guys when I do that.